Hi everybody, it's XR and this is Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. This is the third time I'm doing this video, you guys. <laughs> and you guys have missed out on some great stuff. I haven't died, but I've almost died several times. But, alright. First time, I decided to redo it. Pure, it was a completely my choice because I didn't like the quality of the recording. This time, however, I realized the in-game video had no sound, which, well, I'm sure you guys actually want to hear the sound. Alright. I beat the boomerang brother there. He gives you this hammer down here. See where, I, see where I'm at? Go over here and use that hammer right there. And you have access to this little hidden area. This is purely to prepare you for things to come. In all of these boxes, there's a frog suit. Frog suit helps you swim better. I personally don't like it. I think it's more or less useless. But if you don't use it in the next world, it will be completely useless. Coming up, we got the Fire Brothers. These guys are horrible. You see, I got lucky. That's the second time I've got lucky. The first time, they reduced me to small Mario. You get a get another whistle from him. Again, we all know what the whistles do. Um, but those guys are easiest to beat if you have, ironically, the fire flower. One of my friends pointed that out. I won't name names. But, yeah. Alright, let's see. Um, oh. <laughs> One thing, I've said this several times now, I'm starting to feel like a broken record over here, is I am going to try and finish more of my thoughts that I start. I know, I know, I'm being pretty horrible about that. Hey, that worked out better than I thought. But, I am trying to work on it. Same thing I said last time, is that, last two times, is that, honestly, a lot of it's just me being really excited about this. You know, I just get so, I just get flustered, I start freaking out, and I just get ahead of myself. My brain goes in a million different directions at once. For this, I apologize, but eh, I feel it makes good entertainment too, so don't expect me to stop rambling, because you can't control me. You ain't my babysitter. But, um, yes, anyways. <laughs> I got this down to a system now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's funny. Coins that you can't <sighs> coins that you can't collect are usually because they're actually an item block. In this case, that holds a leaf. But another thing is uh, trying something different with the sound this time. Not my voice. I'm hoping I'm just slowly learning how to do that correctly. But it's actually with the actual in-game music. Um, this won't be very obvious to people listening on speakers, but maybe more so people on headphones, is that the sound before, like some of the beats, some of the tones was coming out of one speaker, some of the beats were coming out of the other speaker. And I don't know, maybe some people like that. I decided to switch it up this time, tell me what you think, otherwise I'm probably just gonna go with whatever... Jesus, I hate this game. With whatever pops around, I might just switch to the stereo version that is different beats coming out of different speakers instead of all of it coming out of both speakers. Just because, I don't know. But if I have an overwhelming response where people are like, no, you have to have it come out of both speakers equally, because it's a Nintendo game and we need that mono sound for nostalgia purposes. Then I will. But there's a reason I'm playing the like really old version of this, you guys. <laughs> I wanted it to be for nostalgia. Alright, take note here. See that right above Mario there? See that white and red thing? If you ever see something like that, it's because there is a block hidden there. Boom. See? Thank you, Gosson. And all this does is bring us here. Alright. 
wasting coins. You've even gotten it so by now. I haven't said it, but I just assume it's common knowledge. Those P, those like P switches, they turn all coins into blocks and all blocks into coins. Yeah, I hope you've learned something. Again, this is not a comprehensive walkthrough. This is me enjoying myself. Um, let's see what else. Oh. Last, one of the other things I really wanted to talk about was a comic I've been reading. It's I read a lot of comics, for those of you who don't know, and I feel like I want to share the quality ones with you, especially if they relate to the game I'm playing right now, and this one does. It takes place in the little Mario universe, and it's called Mushroom Go. It stars a toad, like that screaming fellow right there, who kind of has a very temporary amnesia thing. Don't worry, it doesn't abuse that whole cliche. It's just heat stroke. He gets drafted by these, like, sand pirates, I'm assuming, in this area of the Mario world. And, um... Well, I won't go into too many details, but he ends up joining them, and... It is... It's a very interesting comic. I like it. I don't... It has a lot of references to things I don't really know about. Most of my Mario knowledge ends past Super Mario World. I haven't played a lot of games that came out after that. But... It is still very interesting. I, I'll put a link to it in the little description below. If you have some time, check it out. I mean, it's not, it hasn't been around too long. The guy only updates on Saturdays, so it's not like... It's not like a daily commitment or anything. It's like more of a comic book style comic, not so much a, uh, you know, newspaper comic. But I'd suggest checking it out. I think it's neat. <sighs> Looking behind me, not in front of me. Keep your eyes on the road, kids. All right. Uh, last thing, and I've given this so many times, I feel like I've been reading some cue cards. This guy. This boss I'm fighting, his name is Morton Koopa Jr. And for the longest time, a lot of people I talked to, myself included, I talked to myself, didn't know why he was named that, because his father is Bowser Koopa Jr. A lot of people made jokes like, oh, well, maybe he's adopted, or maybe his mom is named Morton, or something like that. I, I decided to finally look this up. There's actually like a Mario Wikipedia. And I'm pretty sure it said something akin to, back when this game was being made, there was a cat, there was a celebrity or some other figure like that whose name was Morton something Jr. Guys, Morton Koopa Jr. is just a reference towards him. That's it. There's nothing else. He's just a little tiny reference. Anyways, what's Princess Peach say? Greetings! You can stomp on your enemies using Goomba's shoe. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Dot. Face. All right, so the jewels must be these little items because, like, what you need a jewel to protect you from the stank odor of a Goomba shoe. Like, right, that's all I can figure. The cloud lets you skip a level, kinda. Mm, I'll explain it if we use it, which we might, because I am not doing this for your benefit. I'm doing this for my enjoyment. And if there's a level that comes around along, I'll just skip it if I don't like it. But, um, and the Goomba shoe thing references a state, like, one level, like, two worlds from now. It's a while away. Either way, we're going into world three, which is utter hell, but I'll talk about that more next time. Um, other than that, this is Super Mario 3, I'm XR, and hopefully this is the last time I'm playing those, like, four levels again. I'll see you guys later.